It is 1973, and conservative activist Phyllis Schlafly and feminist icon Betty Friedan trade verbal barbs in a contentious debate over the Equal Rights Amendment at Illinois State University. Friedan, author of The Feminine Mystique and The Mother of the Modern Women's Movement, argues that a constitutional amendment guaranteeing men and women equal treatment under the law would put a stop to discriminatory legislation that left divorced women without alimony or child support. On the other side, Schlafly, an Illinois mother of six who has marshaled an army of conservative housewives into an unlikely political force to fight the era, declares American women, the luckiest class of people on earth. Then Schlafly goes for the jugular. You simply cannot legislate universal sympathy for the middle-aged woman, she purrs, knowing that Frieden had been through a bitter divorce. You, Mrs. Frieden, are the unhappiest women I have ever met. You are a traitor to your sex, and Aunt Tom, fumes Frieden, taking the bait. And you are a witch. God, I'd like to burn you at the stake. Frieden's now infamous rejoinder is resurrected in this fiery exchange in Mrs. America, the nine-part limited series from FX on Hulu. Combining real history with the standard dramatic license, the scene captures the spirit and vitriol between pro- and anti-era factions during the fight for women's equality. Starring Kate Blanchett as Schlafly, the Davi Waller-created show chronicles the movement to ratify the era, Schlafly's rise to prominence and the contentious forces that epitomized the culture wars of the 1970s. Creating a historical drama that portrays real events and people, some of whom are still living, calls for a delicate balance between historical accuracy and compelling storytelling. All the events depicted in Mrs. America are accurate, all the debates we show actually happened, says Waller, whose previous television credits include writing for the award-winning drama Mad Men. For research, Waller drew on archival materials, newspaper articles, read numerous books about Schlafly and by and about leaders of the feminist movement, and watched TV footage and documentaries. She also drew on the Schlafly biography Sweetheart of the Silent Majority by Carol Felsenthal, who worked as a consultant on the series. After Blanchett signed on to act in and executive produce the series, Waller hired six writers to work on the episodes and brought on researchers and fact-checkers to ensure historical accuracy. I was also interested in the conversations behind the scenes, the material you don't read about, such as what happened in Phyllis' home. For that, our job was to read source material and imagine what happened, Waller says. The emotional stories are where I took liberties. Many of the scenes in, Mrs.